Like many fragile island ecosystems, New Zealand's unique biodiversity is under significant threat from invasive species, with feral cats being the most formidable of these invasive species. As the island nation's undisputed apex super predators, feral cats in the New Zealand bush compete with other introduced predators such as ferrets, weasels, stoats, feral pigs, and Australian brush-tailed possums to decimate New Zealand's unique native wildlife. In today's report, we will be examining evidence of some of these feral cats deep in the wilderness of New Zealand who may or may not be taking advantage of their newly found apex predator niche to be growing to larger sizes, similar to the instances we've discussed in previous videos of our feral mega cats in Australia, our Madagascar forest cats, our Cretan wildcat on the Greek island of Crete, and the cats on the sub-Antarctic uh, Kerguelen Islands. In some of these cases, the speculation of speciation is even brought into the conversation. So we'll also be talking about sightings of cryptid panthers in New Zealand's bush and specific examples of oversized feral cats um, that support the idea that our Australian feral mega cat theory applies to New Zealand as well. Feral cats were introduced to New Zealand by European settlers in the 19th century, just like our cats in Australia. Their feline level adaptability and hunting efficiency have allowed them to establish themselves in all of New Zealand's habitats, from the inner city urban areas to the highest mountains in New Zealand's wilderness. The ecological impact these invasive feral cats really knows no bounds. Their impact includes the decimation of endemic birds, reptiles, and invertebrates that have evolved no defenses against a mammalian super predator such as a felid. Now, just a quick heads up, guys. The document linked to my first video, Invasive Feral Cats in Australia, Turbo Evolving, um, I frequently update it to include new information, new photos, videos of that support the feral Australian feral mega cat theory and concept. Um, so here, just an example here. This is a this was a prominent uh, documentary article on uh, Australia's feral cat issue, and here. Uh, a literally a doctor, a, uh, a prominent a professor of converse, conservation biology, believes that feral cats are evolving in the Australian bush. You know, huge feral cats, um, and really repeats a, supports a lot. This and guys, again, this is a doctor. This is a professor of conservation biology, saying everything I said in that video. Um, you know. Yeah, Australia has a gap in many of its predator assemblages. Feral cats can monopolize much of that space. Literally what I said. Literally the Australian feral mega cat concept. Uh, look at that. That's a big feral cat there. Um, just to give you a size reference, there's a feral Australian feral mega cat skin compared to a young looking child. There's one in the trees resembling a leopard in the African savanna. There is one, you know, again, uh, viewer's discretion. Um, there's one that was taken by a feral animal hunter in New South Wales, Australia. Look at the size of that thing. That's a ATV um, on t you know, that it's on top of. Look at the size of those fangs. Gee whiz. Gee willikers. <laughs> uh, there's one compared to a fox. Yeah, listen, guys. Yeah, I, I, I frequently update this to whenever I find new photos, videos, articles, information, anything. Um, I will update this, so keep an eye on, on this document. Now, back to our cats in New Zealand. So recent reports from New Zealand have talked about 
cryptid sightings of unusually large feral cats, sometimes collectively referred to as panthers. Um, you know, these panther sightings have been reported in all parts of, of uh, New Zealand and uh, particularly in the South Island. Um, now, I'm going to read some, uh, a couple of articles, uh, excerpts from articles for you guys. So this one is an article by the New Zealand Herald, one of the uh, most prominent news and media services in New Zealand. Um, this article talks about the mystery of monstrous cats in the South Island. Numerous sightings of large black cats, often described as panther-like. These reports have been met with skepticism but persist due to consistent sightings from credible re uh, witnesses. Here's another one from the New Zealand Geographic in the article After Dark, All Leopard, All, pardon me, All Cats Are Leopards. And in this, the author explores the nocturnal habits of feral cats and their impact on native. New Zealand species and the article mentions or reiterates reports of unusually large feral cats and discusses the possibility of these cats evolving into a distinct larger subspecies due to abundant prey and lack of natural predators just like our Australian feral mega cats and finally this article by the by stuff which is a, another prominent New Zealand uh, news media service. And in this article titled, Giant Feral Cats Are Absolute Muscle From Dining Out on the Best Native Wildlife. Um, and this article highlights sightings of feral cats in New Zealand's bush that are significantly larger than typical feral domestic cats. Um, and the, in the article, the cats are, some cats are described as muscular and wet, well fed, suggesting a diet rich in native wildlife. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just actually read you an excerpt from this article. So I'm going to not really, you guys can search the article up for yourselves. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, re start reading the excerpt without any comment. The average house cat weighs about 5 kilograms. He has caught wild cats weighing almost twice that. The biggest one I've seen was in Flock Hill Station near Cass in Canterbury, which was over 10 kilograms. A couple of lines down. And these are the words of a uh, pest controller based in uh, South Island, New Zealand. Let's say you get 10 cats dropped off. Eight of them may starve to death but two of them may figure out how to survive. Those two will be the cats that kill huge numbers of wildlife and grow to double the normal size. So from this, we can conclude uh, that everything we talked about regarding our Australian feral mega cats, our Madagascar forest cats, our Cretan wild cats, our Kerguelen Islands cats, the same concept, even the Australian dingo, okay, derived from domestic feral domestic dogs gone wild thousands of years ago. The same concept is applicable to these feral cats in New Zealand, these apex predator cats in New Zealand. Survival of the fittest is making sure that the biggest and strongest cats are surviving out there in the New Zealand bush. So, so yeah, in conclusion, the hypothesis that Feral cats in New Zealand are evolving into larger, formidable predators like their counterparts in Australia can be supported by these observations of increased size and muscle mass, as well as the reports of panth cryptid panther sightings, which are obviously uh, very large feral cats. And... Uh, with no natural predators and you know all this abundant prey and all this abundant space, New Zealand's bush provides an ideal environment for these evolutionary changes to occur. Probably more so than any of the other islands we've talked about.
other places we've talked about. Without further ado, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to a brand new segment of Eclectic Explorations. Really means a lot, guys. All your continued support, your continued uh, subscribing, your sharing, your likes. Uh, feel free to send me an email and feel free to buy me a coffee linked in the description below. I really appreciate it, guys. And until next time.